This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, preaching this word with true sincerity, with charity, with anybody's a little sacrifice. We are ready to live. Salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson. All right. And um, I was just thinking about this song um, I used to listen to back in the day. Um, and I'm thinking about it. I'm probably going to listen to it again uh, today. But um, it's from Radiohead. Uh, basically, the singer is Tom York. Right. And the name of the song is Karma Police. All right. Karma Police. Now, you got this thing called karma, which is, um, you know, it's basically a, a, a heathen belief. All right. But there's an aspect of truth in it because um, it basically goes into um, you reaping what you sow. All right. And, um, in this song, you know, the uh, the video, you know, um, that's what it kind of depicts. Somebody who, who uh, can't escape uh, their karma, so to speak. Basically what they've done, what they've sown. All right. And um, it's the same thing with us. It's the same thing with everybody. Okay. There's always a price for what we do. Now, let me um, get a scripture on them. This is Numbers 32 and 23. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against Yahweh power. And be sure your sins will find you out. Right? Your sins always will find you out. Okay? So... There's no um, escaping, man. You know, and that's what these people of this world are finding out as are about to find out as well if they haven't already. But let me get another one. This is Sirach um, two, Misalaki. This is Sirach five, right? Sirach five and two. Follow not thy own mind, and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not who shall control me for my works. For Yahweh will surely revenge thy pride. All right. So, yeah, man. <laughs> say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me. For Yahweh is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. All right. And um, he's not going to let you go. Um, let me get another one. Right. Yeah, so the Lord is not going to let let you go, man. Those sins are going to find you out and they're going to hawk you down. All right. And really, the hope should, I mean, if you totally understood how Yahweh Shemayasha works, you would hope that he dealt, dealt, dealt with you with mercy and swiftly. All right. Because you don't want those sins to uh, pile up. All right. But this is second Math Maccabees six and thirteen, for it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered a long time, but forthwith punished. Right. Right. So it's a token of his goodness, man. All right, when you're not suffered to add up your sins. <laughs> All right. For not as with other nations whom you will patiently forbear to punish till they be come to the fullness of their sins, so dealeth he with us. Least being come to the height of sin, afterwards he should take vengeance on us. All right. So, yeah, man. You know, it's, 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 um, let me get another scripture. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. Wherefore, who
whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of Yahweh unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord, right? And that's something we don't want to be guilty of, right? Of eating unworthily. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep, right? So, yeah, some men get put to death. Some men get be sick, you know, because of anger in the Lord, man, adding sin to sin. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged, right? So we got to be on our own head. You know, that takes accountability, something this world lacks, and they're going to suffer for it, man. Two-thirds of our people, they're going to suffer for lacking that accountability, man. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. So, yeah, man, you know, and the scripture says no chastening um, is joyous, man, but grievous. All right. It doesn't feel good. But as scripture says, um, you know, <laughs> it yielded the peaceable fruit uh, uh, of repentance, roughly paraphrasing. Man. All right. So, yeah, man, this chastisement, you know, Lord willing, is to get you out of the way of the Lord's wrath and indignation. All right. We'd rather get dealt with now than be dealt with with the rest of these people, man. And then they're going to be dealt with without mercy, man. All right. So when their judgment finally comes around that corner, it's going to be real bad, man. Real bad, man. Okay. They're not going to be able to walk that one off. Okay. Uh, let me get another one. This is Sirach 11 and 9. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. And let thy heart cheer thee in the day days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou for all these things, Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. Right? Why? Because the angels are watching, man. You know. Right. According to. Shut up. All right, this is a. Uh, All right. This is a. Uh, let me read up. All right, this is a uh, Sirach 23. 18. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am could pass about with darkness, the walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. Such a man feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not the eyes of Yah of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. All right, the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai are the angels, man. All right, the scriptures talk about they go to and fro throughout the earth to show Himself strong, man. All right, the eyes of the Lord go through throughout the earth, man. All right, and they're observing and reporting all the things that we're doing down here. Behold all the ways of behold beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Alright. Okay. So we gotta understand and know that we're being watched by the angels, man. Alright. And um that our sins will find us out, all right? And that's why, you know, these people, <laughs> the people in this world, man, you know, this world uh, teaches unaccountability. Do as I will. Do as I will. Okay. But, um, you know, that, uh, let me just see if I can pick the final scripture. Yeah, so like yeah, I wasn't able to find the scripture I was thinking of, but um, 
Yeah, man. This world is about to be uh, found, man, and caught, man. They're going to be caught red-handed. All right. What the scripture says? Um, This is uh, St. John 8 24. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. All right. So two thirds of our people, man, Lord willing, we are not of that number. All right, Lord willing, we are the elect, you know, but two thirds, they're going to die in their sins, man. All right, because they're. You know, they're unrepented. They don't think there's a um, recompense for the things that they've done with their hands. Man. But the Lord's coming to ju judge the works of our hands. What does it say? Is, uh, matter of fact, man. According to Bible, King James. Yeah. This is Sirach. I mean, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or e or whether it be evil. Okay. So the things we've done in our hands, the Lord's gonna render unto us, man. The Lord's gonna render our works into our hands, uh, works of our hands, man. Render us our works, the works of our hands, man. All right. But yeah, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. I was um, thinking about that particular song, Karma Police, you know, and it inspired this uh, lesson, man, because um, we can't escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, man. You know, that's why we got to be walking on eggshells. And when I'm getting the spirit as of late, the Lord is demanding more fear more fear all right all right and i hope to fear the lord even more tomorrow than i do today because we're coming into some really messed up times man and we want our sins we, we're trying to get that white stone that it speaks about in the book of revelations which is an exemption from judgment that the wa all right that's the mark we're trying to get is the uh, mark of the angels, which is the exemption of judgment. Okay. And that our sins are not uh, imputed unto us, man. You know. But yeah, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there was some edification within it. Uh, Shalom.